Hello everybody, welcome back. So today is such an exciting recipe. <laughs> so I played Pokemon my whole, like, I don't know, I guess like first half of my life. I don't know, I'm 25 now, but either way, loved it. Like so obsessed with it. So it's so exciting that Pokemon Go is like here. We are making chocolate Pokemon pinatas. So I saw a chocolate pinata somewhere, I think it was on Instagram and like they hit it open. It was like at a restaurant and like candy fell out and I thought that was so cool. And I was like, what if you can turn it into like Pokemon? That would be so cool. So today we are doing that. And I snapped a photo of the sketches on Snapchat and I asked you guys for a fifth request. So that fifth request was Squirtle. So thank you so much. So we are making Squirtle as well. And basically what these are, are just chocolate shells that I've chocolated together instead of glued together. That is not a word. Um, and they're filled with candy and there is a string attached. So you can dangle them somewhere <laughs> in your house and then like a regular pinata and then bang it open and the candy will fall out. I think these are so cool, so cool. And yay for Pokemon being back. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. That was wrong. So let's get started. Okay, so first you wanna melt some candy melts and spread them onto the insides of a dome shaped mold. And so I really, really recommend using candy melts instead of actual chocolate. This is actually my first time using candy melts and they melt at a much higher temperature, which means that they're so much easier to work with and they won't melt when you touch them with your fingers. So I definitely recommend using these. And then you wanna pop them in the freezer until they're fully set for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then tie a knot at the end of some strings and place them in a little silicone mold. Then pour some candy melts into the molds and place those in the freezer as well. And so what these are are the strings that will hold the little pinatas up and the little chocolate cube is going to keep the strings inside the pinatas. Then unmold the domes onto a sheet of parchment paper and draw any facial features with some more candy melts. Then for ears and arms, what you wanna do is draw them onto the parchment paper first and then place the domes on top. And so as the candy melts harden, they'll attach to the domes. So candy melts do set at room temperature, but if you'd like to speed up the process, just pop these into the freezer and they'll set much quicker. Then fill one half with some gummies and the string with the chocolate face inside the half and then spread some more candy melts around the edge of the dome and place the other side of the dome on top. Then place this in the freezer for the domes to set. Then just tie the other ends of the strings onto a hanger which I use or a pole and then smash them to reveal the candy inside. And you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite Pokemon is. I think mine is Eevee just because I liked having her when I played like Pokemon Stadium on N64 and I had all of her evolutions. So when I played against my cousin, I'd always swap them out to, like, to beat whichever one she was playing and she hated me so much for it. But yeah, I think Eevee is my favorite. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know what your favorite is. And I will see you guys on Tuesday for a new video. And on Monday, I'm going to be on Sweeten's Facebook page doing a live cooking event again. I'll have the details here on the screen and down below. So make sure to go and tune in and say hello. It was so much fun last time. So I hope you guys tune in again. So I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye. Because so many people are playing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, all my hard work.